The other kids are gonna think I'm stupid. Rocky Harris, the new CEO as of September of USAT. Yes, yes. You're like the uh, prettiest girl of the dance here. Morning, Trainiacs. Day two of the Triathlon Business International Conference in 2018, and I'm riding outside. <laughs> so jacked up after being stuck inside in Winnipeg for the last three months. Uh, however, I have a flat front tire. I don't have any gloves. I don't have any shades. The other kids are gonna think I'm stupid. So we are here with Rocky Harris, the new CEO as of September of USAT. Yes, yes. You're like the uh, prettiest girl at the dance here this weekend. Like <laughs> I'm the, every, no, I'm, getting in, I'm the new kid around. in school. The right? new so, kid yeah, in school. That's more like so it. everyone wants to take yeah. their little slice off you. Yes, yes. <laughs> so, it's been fun though. So let's do this quickly. We're going to do a podcast after. And if you want to know more about Rocky's plans for USAT, um, triathlon as a whole, listen to that. But uh, right now I want to let let people in a little bit on who you are. Okay. So we're gonna do this rapid fire. Okay. Two See minutes. What we can do. Got it. Let's Two do minutes. It. Yep. I'm gonna put it on the clock. All right. I'm watching the clock. And oh, you don't want to do that because <laughs> these are coming fast okay. and furious. Okay. Right. Let me try to get my mind right. And we're gonna psych yourself yeah. up. Okay. There. I'm we're in. gonna see how many of these you can get through. Okay. Let's be tough. Ready? Yep. Hometown. Tempe, Arizona. Family. Three daughters, one wife. <laughs> A lot of estrogen. Alma mater. Uh, Arizona State University undergrad, University of San Francisco grad school. How do you take your coffee? With cream, light. Oh, we're, this is over. Done. <laughs> done. Only dark. Done. I like dark coffee with a little cream. There you go. Okay. Yeah. How many tries have you done? Probably 20. 20. Yeah, so this year, just, oh, sorry. I can't, can't do that. Okay, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's how, it's no, up to you quick. how we're you want to use the time. Yeah. <laughs> Favorite sport other than triathlon? Probably football. Uh, pets? Nope. No pets. I had, a, I had a dog named Harley that I had from the time I was 19 to, to about two years ago. What kind of dog? Jack Russell Terrier. Whoa, geez. Yeah, you like a lot, of, you like a lot energy. of energy. Yeah, that's surprising <laughs> to you, I bet, huh? <laughs> uh, favorite triathlete? Oh, shoot, there's so many. I, I would probably say uh, Andy Potts because his daughter and my daughter are best friends. And they okay. go to the same, and they're in the same class together. Oh, cool. Yeah. What was the last TV show you binge watched? Uh, let me think here. Uh, it's been a, been a while since I've been wa binge watched because the kids you can't you don't have the time to do it. Uh, let me think here. Probably Mad Men. Natural. It's a good one. Last movie you saw in a theater? Uh, one with my kids. Let me think. It couldn't have been too good. He said, I don't "Oh, you know what? Captain Underpants." <laughs> <laughs> my seven-year-old loves that movie. <laughs> oh, I feel really that, embarrassed that I said that. That I'm actually a parent who uh, uh, allowed a kid her to after go. my heart. Yeah. I, I, I like underpants <laughs> jokes, uh, which leads into the next question: yeah. Speedo or jammers when you swim? Uh, jammers. Okay. Uh, if you could sit down with anyone, dead or alive, who would it be? Uh, probably my grandfather because I knew him well, obviously, but he was in the military. He was Japanese-American, went through a lot in his life. His family was in internment camps and he was fighting for America. Got a lot of great stories. You are out of time, but you just bought yourself extra time with that answer, <laughs> excellent. And uh, to build on your initiatives that you've been announcing here that we'll talk about more in the podcast, how many new triathletes a year are you planning on bringing into We're the sport? We're planning on bringing 100,000 new triathletes into the sport over the next three years. And that's net new. Mm -hmm. So take the amount that are yeah. dropping off, you have to make up for that we, and yeah, we do, do 100,000. Uh, no, we've got to be aspirational, got to go out with a big goal and, in order to, for people to really rally around it. That's a big goal. It is. I like yeah. it. Listen to the podcast yeah. and you'll hear more about Thanks. it. Thank yeah. you. So he went in his garage with a friend and he made a disc wheel. Well, the very first disc wheel he gave. Oh, 
Oh, let's get you focused. And uh, wow, after a 13 hour day of meeting and schmoozing and handshaking and introducing and learning about people, uh, very awesome, like really good conference, but this introvert is tired. It might shock you to know that I consider myself an outgoing introvert. Love being around people, really like meeting people, hearing their stories, learning about them, getting to know people, all the stuff that we do here, but I recharge by being alone very, very much. Being alone and being quiet. One of uh, the interesting things that I'm learning here this weekend is as we, Trainiacs, you and I, are all growing and it seems like everything is tickety-boo in the world of triathlon because more podcast listeners, more subscribers, more people that are downloading email things from us, the whole industry this weekend can be summed up by like, what the hell are we going to do? I think... There's this black hole of triathlon that I've talked about that is Ironman that is growing and having more and more races, but all the other races are just beating each other up for all the same racers, and there's not a ton of growth in North America. And a lot of the discussion is, how do we deal with that as an industry? Uh, the chat that I did there with Rocky, that was all fun, fine and dandy. Go check out the podcast. We actually talk a lot more about the nuts and bolts of what Rocky's gonna do. And the biggest thing is... that they have launched, actually they haven't officially launched, and it might be leaking something here, but they've kind of said that they knew that they were gonna be leaking it. MyTimeToTry.com, which they're basically fessing up that they need to do a better job at being more inviting and giving new triathletes resources for the sport. And from the sounds of it, that mytimetotry.com sounds like an amazing resource. Frankly, it does a lot of what I try to do. So Rocky, you seem like a good guy. I'm gonna support my time to try. I pledged to do it. I told you I'd do it. So I'm gonna do it. Now, let's make a video and be antisocial for the rest of the night. Deal? Deal, fellow introverts.